Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam McCola. This is MUFC Daily and it is Monday. What a weekend it was. Anda Herrera stealing all the headlines at Goodison Park as Manchester United beat them 3 0 to take all three points. How long has it been since we could say that after a game at Goodison Park? 1 0, 2 0, 3 0 defeats over the last three years. We haven't scored or won there since 2011 when Vidic scored in a 1 0 win. Up until last, well, on Saturday. And it was a great result as well. And the Herrera at the heart of it. And he's been talking to ManUnited.com where he's been talking about how the, the competition for places in that Manchester United midfield is benefiting him. And I've got to say it is true. Obviously, we had the disappointing performance against Arsenal where we lost it in the midfield. And I think the selection of Carrick and Schweinsteiger did that for us. But with the likes of Carrick, Schweinsteiger, Schneidlin, Herrera, um, you know, even Daily Blind as well. We've got a great choice of players in the middle of the park to choose from um, and that's a luxury that we haven't been able to have for quite a while so hopefully if we, we are to have a title challenge and you know keep pushing towards the top one or two spots in the league then those will be key for us that midfield battle and well done to Ander Herrera I think it's 10 shots and 8 goals in the Premier League as well now for him um, well 10 shots on target 8 goals how clinical is that moving on from there anyway um, Louis van Gaal has been talking about Wayne Rooney, his captain, and he spoke him up proper well. He was like, he is an example for everybody, his fellow players, players from other clubs, and also for the manager. So we're saying Wayne Rooney is a fantastic captain. Now, he scored his goal, took his goal fantastically well. He had a good first half, not as good in the second half, but he got that goal and he took it where you'd expect him to be running through there, worried with the form that he's got and the, the pressure that's on him, but he bagged it. And that's just what we wanted to see from Wayne Rooney. Um, and I think he is a good captain for Manchester United. Whether on the pitch, week in, week out, he's making enough influence to, to, to warrant a starting place. You know, that's your opinion. But I do think he's filling up his captaincy role at Manchester United quite well. David De Gea was in... Gazeta Dello Sporto's European Team of the Week. How good was he at the weekend? Surprised him in the Team of the Week because I didn't think he made a few fantastic saves, obviously. Um, but I think he would have won the game had De Gea not had such a good game. That makes sense. Um, because despite having a few opportunities in the second half, I thought we were comfortable winners against Everton. Um, and finally, to finish up on, um, Gary Neville and Brian Giggs have allowed squatters to stay in their construct. Well, it's a construction site at the moment. Um, it's getting built up into a hotel in Manchester and they've allowed squatters to stay there over the cold winter months. All they've asked for is that they allow the workmen to come in and come out and don't make any damages to the property. Um, and I was reading the story on that. It's absolutely fantastic. So hats off to Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs. It's nice to see a change, something like that, because most times you get them calling up the old bill and the courts and trying to get procedures to get them out and, and they haven't. So hats off, Ryan Giggs and Gary Neville. Anyway, guys, get your comments in below. Let us know what you thought about all the stories there today. Subscribe to Full Time Devils. I'm out of here.